What's up, guys? So bringing you another gameplay, and look at this. I pick up, I uh, picked up the Castro. Now he's a 98 overall, and Unger, who's already been a 99 overall. So my offensive line is just getting better and better and better. Now the reason I uh, chose this gameplay to show is because it was a crazy game from beginning to end, starting with uh, this right here. Watch this. You would think this would be just like a normal kickoff, like it always is, because you know. 99.9% .9 of the time kickoffs don't really do anything but look at this I fumble he picks it up runs it back rubs it in my face I'm like this cannot I can't believe it and look at that Jordan Howard this is the football uh, the football outside of Jordan Howard you will get a sneak peek of him his review should be coming tomorrow but you will definitely see him in this game so when you see my running back take the ball it's gonna be Howard like um, right here also a decent catcher too just so you guys know and look at that truck man I am loving the way he trucks he reminds me of a little bit of Derrick Henry in that sense you know just um trucking people and breaking tackles man he's not the fastest guy in the world believe me he does get caught from time to time but man he is making a case for um a uh, top 10 back for sure and as usual I'm gonna let the game is playing in the background but one thing that I do want to mention is I saw on Twitter somebody hit me up saying that apparently once again there is somebody out there trying to impersonate me and to uh, scam people for their cards so this happened last year except it was a guy on twitch this time it's a guy on twitter i guess i'm assuming not. who knows what he's doing but all i know is that they sent me screenshots of the guy trying to uh, scam people so just be careful guys and just to really drive home the point about jordan howard look at this right here trucks mail blunt like it was nothing and then just takes off man also on defense you will see the playoff kj wright and the um out of position landon collins so on defense look for those guys you will be seeing a, a bit of them and look at this man he swerved glitched me he did not do it all game so he, you know he waited till the end of the uh, second quarter right here to do it so completely caught me off guard and scored with it so when that happened i was like oh god it's gonna be one of those types of games first the kickoff fumble then that and now this i'm like yeah, this game man is not at all going my way so if you see right here, I got the ball back. And the reason that is is because I accidentally deleted the footage of that last drive of his. He did score a touchdown and went up by 14 points. But you saw right there, I scored just in the nick of time right before halftime. Right here, two seconds left. He tries to swerve glitch me again. Does not work. Thankfully, I backed everybody up in three quarters of man deep. He does get the ball back at half with a seven-point lead. So it's like I'm facing a swerve glitcher. Um, he... he on defense, all he did, well, not only, I think like 95% of his defense, all he did was send that crazy edge heat from the nickel or like whatever it was, their cover two blitz, which is very tough to stop. But anyways, in my previous video, I did mention that the gauntlet seems to be done for the rest of the season, but that does not mean that you cannot still get coins from farm. So I decided to give you guys a few tips on that. Tip number one would be the ultimate season solos. Not the whole thing, just like from week 10 to week 17. For those of you who don't know, there are... The rewards are very similar to the gauntlet. Now, don't get me wrong, man. They're not going to be as easy as the gauntlets because the gauntlets are just really quick, you know, um, objectives like one touchdown or three completions, something like that, you know, and then the whole thing's over. This one, it will start you like in the beginning of the fourth quarter, so you, so you got to finish the uh, rest of the game. But the rewards are decent, you know. I think the first tier is like a pro pack, next one's all, um, all pro, then. Uh, uh, mud gear flashback and legendary game changer so the packs are there so that's uh tip number one tip number two would be the uh, journey of course and damn look at that nasty ass stiff arm man that was a nasty stiff arm but anyways uh yeah tip number two would be the journey now i definitely do not recommend doing the journey first because it is the longest one but if you finish all the easy other i mean all, all the other easy solos like the gauntlet and the ultimate season and if you want to keep grinding, I guess technically you could do it. The rewards are decent. You can't complain about the rewards, but that, that one's completely up to you. And look at this damn swerve glitch again. He keeps catching me off guard because he didn't do it back to back to back like most guys do it. He'll do it like once every seven or eight plays. That's why he kept catching me off guard. But anyways, tip number three kind of ties into the ultimate season solo uh, challenges. And that is doing the overall, which I'm pretty sure some of you guys are you know, have already done this as well. But, you know, if you get your team to, to like a... 80 overall you get like a pro pack and 82 overall pro pack 84 overall i think you get like an all pro pack so on and so forth now i'm not saying that you need to get all the way to a legendary pack or anything but if you do the ultimate season solos you know you'll get those those elite cards and you can slowly build your way up there and look at jalen ramsey jump the route man tied ball game and he gives me the ball at like the 37 yard line so great timing there by ramsey 
But anyways guys, like I said, in my opinion, if you have not done the gauntlet yet, do that one. And if you did that already, go ahead and do the ultimate season like from week 10 to a week 17. And they're not that tough, you know. And look at this player right here, this is crazy. Look at me right there, use your bar, right? Now look at this, I'm going to accidentally press square by accident. I'm going to fall on the ground, get back up and be in the perfect, uh, right place, right time, man. And pick the ball. So now I got to get a first down to try and ice the game. He stops me on first down, but right here, blitzes off the left side. Leaves the whole left side exposed and Dallas Clark wide open. And after that, man, he's got no timeouts. I take the knee, the game's over. Crazy comeback against this crazy swerve glitcher. Very satisfying win. But anyways, guys, like I said, after you finish the gauntlet, if you still want to grind, do the ultimate season, man. Week 10 to week 17, I believe it is. The first half of those games, man, they're not that hard. Like the first couple tiers, they're extremely easy. But anyways, guys, hopefully those tips help, man, to help you get coins, seeing as the gauntlet seems to be over. And um, the uh, Howard review should be coming out tomorrow, too. But anyways, guys, I'll see you boys then. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Peace.